Our next speaker is Lynn Furman, Managing Director of Furman Innovations and former Senior Vice President of Innovation at Bank of America. His presentation is entitled, Innovating a Roadmap for the Customer Experience. Please welcome Lynn Furman. Let's welcome Glenn Furman of Furman Innovation. Every day I'm shuttled in. Myself. My name is Len Furman, and I'm the former head of ideation at Bank of America. I'm also an adjunct professor of innovation at the University of North Florida. I have a little boutique innovation agency, and most importantly, I'm a world juggling champion, which, as you may have guessed, is running or jogging while juggling. <laughs> now, today, I'm going to have three main business takeaways for you in this presentation. First, I'm going to show you how you can partner with your clients' innovation teams to ensure that qualitative research is a core part of this. And we're going to be relating all the steps in the innovation process to the steps in learning how to juggle. It's been proven scientifically that you are more able to remember and retain things when you can associate them with something visual. Juggling is very visual. I'll be referring to this simple roadmap of the front end of the innovation process. I, I break down the innovation process, the front end, into three steps. I call first the explore phase, second the ideate phase, and third, the evaluate phase. The very first phase of the innovation process, the explore phase. And to learn the explore phase and how it relates to innovation, we are all going to get up on our feet. This is going to be an interactive, engaging presentation. And I want you to open the packs of scarves that are in front of you. The scarf floats in the air. So it gives us a long time to be able to see what's going on. It's Essentially, it's going to be like juggling in slow motion. So, it's so you can give that a try and throw across, claw down with your left hand, throw back across, claw down with your right so hand. So the first thing we're learning right now is that we need to break down complex processes into the most elementary steps. So whether it's learning how to juggle or learning how to improve the customer experience. I find is an incredibly underappreciated source of information in, in many large companies. You see, in order to make those accurate throws we talked about earlier, you have to be able to learn to keep your body in somewhat perfect balance. And only by balancing an object on your chin or on your nose can you keep perfect balance. Thank you. The balance also has a lot of implications for us uh, in the ideation process. First of all, it's also critically important that you balance different methods of brainstorming. But I would never advocate that you only do group brainstorming as your only method of idea generation. It's always important to do to have multiple methods of idea generation when you're in the IDA phase of an innovation project. <laughs> history and some of the greatest ideas in history, it's usually more often the case that ideas develop over time with multiple people collaborating on them. So what happens is one person comes up with the seeds of an idea, and another person with different background, different experiences adds to that, and suddenly you have the makings of great. And this is how group brainstorming is most effective, when you encourage that collaboration and that building of ideas. And now just focus on that one spot. And I can keep going for quite a while as I get the pattern cultivated there. So focus, focus is the third secret. And what this tells us for, for the innovation process is, well, at some point we've got to start actually narrowing down. So now we're ready to go to our final phase, the evaluate phase. And in the evaluate phase, so our third phase, so we're going to be juggling with three scars. The trick here is focus. There's going to be a lot going on. <laughs> to a lot of extraneous information. You're, you're, you're going to see scarves flying all around you, not just your own scarves, but other people's scarves. The doing this is to focus just on making three good throws. Don't, don't even think about it. And when I get it to where it's going good, I've got to cultivate this, repeat it over and over again until it's into my muscle memory. So that's, that's what smart practice is. I, I visualize what the pattern should be. I analyze it. I make, I make changes if I'm making mistakes. And then I, I try to cultivate 
good pattern. Just like when we were juggling, we had to smooth out our pattern. We're smoothing out the concepts. We're making sure that these concepts really work with customers. And the key here is going through an iterative process. What I call in my practice an idea tournament. It's a process simply of starting with hundreds of ideas that came out of brainstorming, bringing them through this filtering process where you're evaluating, cultivating, and prioritizing, and ending up with your final few ideas that will be your initiatives. By the way, the people in the front here, if you do see uh, machete flying at you, I'm not a magician, so it's not an illusion. So you have to wait. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Three, three machetes. Wow. So we learned here in the evaluate phase that we need to go through our three pillars of cultivate, evaluate, and prioritize. And we can bring in concept clarity testing, concept cultivation sessions, and concept development sessions to help out the evaluate process. Wow. Thank you.